Hello and once again welcome to Peter's Marine Service. I'm your host Ted and today I'm looking forward to show you a brand new addition to our used boat lineup. This is a 1996 Wellcraft 26 Scarab which is in remarkable condition both outside and inside which I can't wait to show you all the things that it has to offer. It's sitting on a load right galvanized roller trailer with brakes on both axles. This is certainly a boat you could trailer from place to place and uh, you have the right equipment in which to do so. As I come down the side of the boat, the gel coat on both sides is in very good condition, extremely good condition. There's no marks, don't see much of, of anything. In fact, the, the gel coat shines very well. Uh, you can see a reflection through the whole thing, both on the sides and up on the deck to a degree. Uh, but you can really tell that the boat's been well maintained. The rub rail that goes down the side of the boat, it's a vinyl inserted rub rail and would certainly show if there was any sort of major impact. And outside of a couple little scratches, which you'll have, after all, it is a 96, uh, you can see that, that the, the boat has been maintained very well and uh, no, no issues in docking, as you can see here. Certainly whoever has owned this boat as an experienced boater really took good care of it. We even went so far as we repainted the bottom, so the bottom is all nice and looks good. Even again, as you come down around the side of the boat, we've got some stainless steel cleats, both forward, midship, and aft. Stainless steel rub rails here. And even here, a molded in swim platform adds to the look of the boat. It's just a good looking boat all around. In the back of the boat, the, the stern drive, the Bravo stern drive, we have repainted, so that all looks really good. Stainless steel prop comes with it, it's just not on it for now. Dual ram trim tabs are here as well, and that's all all here, all in good working order, and everything looks sharp back here. Stainless steel ladder pulls easily out, and it's a three-rung ladder, so it drops nicely down into the water, which makes it easy to climb up and onto the back of the boat. As you can tell, obviously, with the, with the bottom paint and the stern drive, the boat was used in salt water. There is a freshwater flush that's right here, so uh, you can tell that it was well maintained. With a freshwater flush, you can easily take care of the engine much better than if it didn't have that. But even still, when you're inside the boat, it's hard to, to find areas where you could see that it was uh, in that environment. Again, the people who had this really took care of it, and it, it certainly shows here. On the back, stainless steel ski tow eye. So the fun doesn't end with just running this boat fast. Uh, you can easily pull skiers and tubers alike right on the back here. The interior feature, features this spacious sun pad. It's huge. Two people could easily lay out here and you got plenty of room yet for, for uh, maybe some towels or a gear bag up here with you. Yeah, plenty of room up top here. Uh, one thing I really want to point out is the condition of the vinyl. Uh, you, you, you don't see any, any outstanding marks or, or fading or cuts. Outside of a little bit of something that went on right here, that's the only thing that I really found inside the whole interior. But the boat really does show well. As you can see when we come inside the boat, plenty of room in here. It is a 26 foot boat and you got plenty of room here sitting down inside. Plenty of leg room, nice grab handle and it's deep too. So if you get out into that rough water you can feel confident that you're inside the boat. Especially if you take children along as well. The carpet is a snap-in carpet. It's red. That's also in very good condition. No, uh, no major issues there in which to uh, to discuss. It looks like that's in great shape also. At the helm features drop-down bolster seats so you can either sit up tall or stand behind the helm if the water gets rough. Separate shift and throttle really make for a nice sport feeling here. The dashboard, very clean, again very well maintained. Uh, it, it's hard to say that this is a 96. It, it looks much newer than that by the condition. But your gauges are nice right there, right? Very easy to see. Trim tab indicator I noted is up on the dash, real big located here, as is your compass right up on the front where it should be. Again, the passenger side features the same drop down feature, a nice seat in which to sit in with a grab handle or it does drop down for standing here as well. Plus there's some, some cup holders there. The windshield features a, a uh, uh, painted, if you will, uh, framework that goes around and outside of a couple little scuffs and things and a little bit of wear that that's hardly discernible but uh, 
certainly I'm pointing these things out. I'd encourage you to look at it for yourself. The boat is in very, very good condition. I think you'll agree. Cabin door opens nice and wide. It's very easy to hop down inside. Take a look at this. Plenty of room in here. In fact, it spreads out quite deeply inside so two people can easily overnight in the boat. Very good condition in the cabin. And there's a porta potty located here as well. One thing I would like to, uh, to point out is the engine compartment. And we'll show you the engine inside here also. This has an electric lift for the hatch which I'm going to lift up right here. Oops, I'm sorry. I have to turn on the battery switch, which is located underneath this aft storage seat here. And once that's on, I can come up back up to the helm. And as you can see, the engine hatch is opening. And once that's open, I'm going to show you the 502 mag. 502 cubic inches, puts out over 400 horsepower, which is plenty of power for a boat this size. I really don't have a, a, a reading as to how fast the boat goes, but certainly you can expect upper 60s, if not over 70. 415 hours on the engine, which, which frankly is not much at all on a big block. The thing that's important when you look down inside this engine compartment is the cleanliness of it. You can see it's, it's very clean, again, very well maintained. As I recall, this fuel injected 502 puts out about 415 horsepower. In the back here, you'll notice fire extinguishing system built right in, dual batteries, one on each side, and also these canisters that you see here is a muffling device, stainless steel risers off the manifolds here uh, for your exhaust. But you can see as you look down inside here, uh, very clean, very well maintained. We, we went over everything here at Peter's Marine Service as we do all boats that we bring in. And this boat checks in just fine. Certainly it is ready for the water. Again, my name is Ted. I appreciate you taking the time to see the video. If uh, you have any questions, please give us a call. Thanks for watching.